I'm getting a, a battery temperature warning. I left this stuff in my car overnight and it went down to like 22 degrees and it hasn't had a chance to warm up yet. So I'm gonna sit on the battery like a mama hen and then see what happens. It's your buddy Ken Heron and I'm in downtown Baltimore, Maryland. I haven't been here since my sister was born in 1969. I was three years old. She was born in Baltimore and that building Put it on the screen. Yeah, there. That's what that building is. Looks pretty cool. Airspace is good here and uh, it's a beautiful day. Weather's good. Let's fly. I recommend these gloves. These have tips on the forefinger and thumb so that you can work a screen. Link in the description. I'm going to let it sit here for a minute. First time you're flying in an unfamiliar environment. It's best to see if it's going to grab the satellites and behave okay. Especially since I had that cold battery warning. Looks like it's going to be all right. Let's check out Baltimore. I'm only going to go about 120 feet above the parking garage. Let's take a look down. There I am. Let's just take a look around. It's a beautiful day. No clouds. Oh, I gotta show you this. Let's go up a little bit higher. The M&T Bank has a building behind it with a gold top. And that building is... Yeah, that's what that building is. Continue spinning around. Usually if you're in a big city, and you're unfamiliar with it, you don't want to go flying around over streets and everything. Just find a place, go up and down, get your shots. There's the road I came in on. Now I wonder if I can get close to that building. Let's just take a peek over the edge of the parking garage and see. It's Sunday and the streets aren't that busy, but you don't want to fly over cars or people. And you can fly over streets, just not vehicles. I'm over the sidewalk here and I'm going to wait to cross the street like you should if you were going to walk across it. You can tell I'm not directly over the street by the perspective of the buildings the parking garage directly under me. If I was able to see the wall, then that would mean I'm over the street or the sidewalk. So that's how you can tell if you're directly over something. It looks like maybe the light has changed. Yep, that car's gonna stop, so I'm gonna head over. There we go. And you can see the perspective change on that building. That means I'm over the roofs. So we're good, we're good right there. So I'm gonna head down and get a little shot of the top of that building there, which once again is the, I should have known that. Coming down. <laughs> there we go. That's beautiful. Get a little closer, do an orbit. I should remain over the rooftops with no problems. Just a nice, slow. Getting the rest of the city in it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Coming around the side here, we can see me in the parking lot. Hi, Ken, down there in the parking lot, you little dot, parking lot dot. Generally, you don't want to be on the other side of any building, especially when you're a block or two away because of the signal. And always have your return to home set for higher than whatever buildings are around you. Learn that the hard way. Uh-oh. That's it. There's my drone. Oof. 
Ooh, I hate that. So I wanna come down a little bit lower and take a peek into those windows. Point the camera down real quick. See what's below us. All right, so we're still over the rooftops. Get a little bit closer. And then I'll come down as I'm panning the camera up, which takes, if you're a pincher, and you should be, which takes one, two, three, four, five of your fingers. Let's see if I can do this. Down. Get a shot of that clock. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah. I think the clock is wrong. All right, so I'm getting some wind warnings and my battery is draining faster than usual because of the cold. So I'm gonna head back towards the parking lot. Once again, look down as you cross the street. If you point the camera straight down, then you can tell with the perspective how far you are over the street. Cars are going by, crossing the street. There we go, back over the safety of the parking garage. So you can fly in a city, as long as you don't get crazy with it. Come on in. There you go. Now I'm gonna to move to the outskirts of the city to see if I can get a skyline of this thing. I moved a few miles out of the city so I could get a skyline shot for you. And I ended up by the docks. And I had a little bit of a confrontation with a security guard in front of a cruise ship. I was about to launch my drone and fly over the fence to get a closer shot of the ship when the security person came out and said, I can't fly on private property. And I told her I wasn't gonna fly on private property. And I launched the drone and as soon as I crossed the fence line, she said, you said you weren't gonna fly on private property. And I said, well, clearly you could see I'm not on private property. Well, she did not appreciate that and went back in her little security guard hut to call someone. That's when I left, went across the interstate and launched again. And that's what you see here. And then I swung around so I could get a shot of the city. I then headed back to the city to see if I could fly the Bank of America building. Well, it looks like I'm gonna to have to get the Bank of America building on another day. It was really windy at the top of the clock tower. And so going up to the Bank of America building would just be too dangerous. Wouldn't you agree, Henry? I think he agrees. I was on my way to film the beautiful golden top of the Bank of America building. Bank of America buildings are always pretty. When I saw this off in the distance, so I had to come and check it out. Clock tower. I bet there's some interesting history behind this. Hello. Do you know the name of that tower? Uh, Bruno Seltzer Arts Tower. Oh, okay. Can you see it? Bruno, Bruno Seltzer Arts Tower. Okay. Yeah, are, are you, do you live here? In... I live in the apartment that way, the oh, road. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. Well, I'm going to film it with my drone. Pretty oh, really? cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it will be better like in the night because it will have like a purple light around the clock. Oh, the clock lights up? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Congrats. All right. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. All right got the ambulance on standby just in case I get too excited from this flight. This is the fire department, but I'm not going to be blocking their entrance. I'm just going to be going over the roof and up that way. Let's get over the roof fairly quickly. In, in larger cities, it takes a minute to get GPS locked. I didn't have it down here took getting it up there and again I'm gonna let it settle down make sure it's not gonna get all hinky on me now I'm not on the ideal side because the lights hitting it from the other side but let's go ahead and go up and check it out all 
Oh, that's neat, man. That is neato. Looks like they're doing a little construction on it. I can't go around the other side because the street is there, but I can do a little three quarter orbit for you. Looks like a castle on the top. FPV guys are like, that'd be great to rip through. And it would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Looking down to make sure I'm not over street. Nope. I know it looks like I may be over the street, but I'm not. And I've got my eye on it. I'm actually right on the edge of the building right here. And on this one, the clock is correct. I'm getting a few wind messages, but that's normal, especially in a city where the buildings will affect the wind. Look at that. That's a beautiful clock. I'm gonna do a little three quarter over here. The wind is a little hinky, so that's why it's not that smooth. But it looks like both of the clocks are correct. And I can come back a little bit. The wind is giving me fits. So I'm gonna bring it back. It's a windy cold day, so we got battery stuff to worry about. Well, that was fun. There you go, clock tower. Oh, uh, I did have to park on someone's bed to get this shot. Sorry, person. Every big city has these scooters, and I guess nobody realizes how silly they look on them. That's nah, a shame. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Henry? I think he agrees. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Thanks, buddy.